music is emotional, or should be emotional. The first session I ever engineered was uh, on the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album. You have so much that goes into just one song. So much time goes into one song, from the inception of the idea, to the rehearsing, to the recording, to the mixing of the song, to the mastering of the song, to putting it actually out. This was our intention. And if you, if you are not actually receiving that intention, what's the point? The better the, the reproduction of the music, the more it's gonna get you inside here. That was one of the reasons for tonight. One of the demonstrations was playing something the way so many people listen, on small computer speakers. It's crap. Then we went up to, to mid-sized sort of home speakers. But then, of course, the final thing was the blades, the large, very expensive kept speakers, which are amazing, and they sounded great. First, we had staying for the weekend in the live room, and we got to sit and watch them play live. It's loud, everybody had earplugs, you could hardly hear the vocals. And then we moved to the control room where you heard everything on Kef speakers, extremely pristine. You could pick out every instrument and it was very controlled. The Kef headphones are incredible. They, they, they can totally take a beating. They're super hi-fi and full range. I mean, it's, they sound great. This is what you can get. This is what we work towards making it sound like. The challenge for us nowadays is stay true to our very fundamental principles of reproducing music which reflects the care that has gone into it. And that's been our philosophy ever since the very start.